ubiquitousness. I spent many evenings looking for the right word. It was everywhere. News, radio, shallow, pointless discussions overheard on the bus on my way to school. I could not get my head around it. Why are people so into it? What's the point? There is nothing I can do. There is no need to be interested in such issue. Just another whim. It will be gone in the twinkling of an eye and there will be another fundamental global issue to be solved. As my mom used to say, let sleeping dogs lie. And so I did. I was fed up. As I was sitting behind my school desk, contemplating another morning that was about to be brutally murdered by boredom, she walked into the room wearing the biggest smile her face could possibly take. I had never seen one like this before. Remember the dogs I mentioned earlier? They were on a leash right next to her. Who wants to participate in the project? Hypocrisy. The word tattooed on my forehead. I was part of it and actually quite interested. We are teenagers and we are likely to change our minds every second or so. Get used to it. Four schools from Sweden, Spain, Italy, and Czech Republic participating in something that seems to be huge with a great impact. Maybe there is something we can do. Maybe there is something we should do. It is an impossible task to present you with everything I have experienced in the last two years. Nevertheless, I am used to overcoming impossible tasks. There is a reason why they call me a student. Despite my lack of interest and reluctance, I was getting more and more interested. Not that I would consider myself a superhero capable of solving one of the most tickling issues of the current world, but I have been becoming more aware that it is a problem that affects us all. In addition, I reckon that everyone has experienced it around their dinner tables. Parents, friends, everyone talking about it as if their shoes and passports were still wet getting their pieces of information from the internet or TV news. How outrageous! This thought always makes me vexed. As once my hero Dr. House said, everybody lies and so do the media. Staging theater every day, I needed to obtain my own information. I felt the need to be more involved. Involved. The word I remember hearing from a friend of mine in Spain when we were part of a seminar dealing with emotions and empathy. If you realize the fact that most of us have never met a migrant, let alone talk to one, Empathy is a skill worth dying for. The word involved has another connotation here. It's strange when you realize that sometimes you get to hear people talking about immigrants as them, even though it should be us. Mapping back our family histories, we found out that all our family members migrated to a certain point. Speaking about immigrants is one thing. Meeting and talking to them is a different story. Not only did we have a chance to visit an assimilation center in Sweden, they also visited us. We were lucky enough to interact with people from various countries ranging from Asia to Africa in many different ways. We were dancing with them, talking with them, singing with them, but more importantly, we were able to listen to their stories. Feeling of astonishment in three, two, one. There are real people behind all the pictures we are presented with every day on the news. It is only when you find out that if something means a lot to someone, they make you live it with them using nothing but storytelling. Our task was to get their message across. I surely do not have to mention that it was not an easy task to perform. After long hours of discussion, 
we opted for the two greatest art forms there are, literature and music. To put it very simply, we extracted the most interesting parts from the people's stories and decided to print them on bookmarks that are about to be distributed everywhere possible and use them as inspiration for lyrics that I will talk about in no time. Small fish in a big pond. That's exactly how I felt. What if there is something I can do? I must admit that it was a tedious job to analyze the cases of real migrants from the legal point of view. However, the more we learn, the more we can do, right? Moreover, it was quite interesting to compare the legal steps that would be taken in four different countries with totally different legal systems. The most important part was the discussion. It takes a lot of patience to articulate your point and communicate it across to someone who sees the world through a totally different keyhole. Time for action. Speaking about the discussions we had, we all agreed on taking steps towards mutual understanding. This was our common ground to start from. A brilliant thing was done in Italy. One of the main ideas was to get the message across to teach our environment what we have learned. Apart from the bookmarks that I had already mentioned, we decided to record songs expressing our hopes, desires, worries, as well as ambitions that have been on our minds since the beginning of the project. Is there a more powerful art form than music that unites people? After all this, we felt we needed to display our full commitment to whoever asked for it. What is more, we want it to be taken seriously, not only by our peers, but also by people in power. For this reason, we created the Declaration of Intentions that we promised to stick to wherever we are and talked with many important people in all the countries participating in the project. Declaration of Intent after reaching common conclusion, we, students from Italy, Czech Republic, Sweden and Spain, participating together in the Erasmus project Yes Plus, targeting social inclusion, hereby declare ourselves to fight for equality, unity and solidarity. To deconstruct prejudice as it is a key point in terms of integration and social inclusion to perceive our failures in understanding other cultures, not as showstops, but as opportunities to improve our lives and future. To step out of our comfort zones in order to reach open-mindedness and to broaden our outlooks. To cooperate with different communities, to order support people who need help with integration and reaching their goals. To question judgmental views to, and create opportunities for everybody so they are able to express themselves freely and proudly. To value respect as one of the essential and crucial traits. To demand authorities to ensure basic human rights for everyone, without racist prejudice, to encourage inclusion and cohesion. To urge governments to build cultural bridges that successfully encourage inclusion and cohesion, considering newcomers, migrants and refugees. And last one, to sustain and support the above mentions as active citizens. Every story must come to an end. And after everything I have experienced during the last two years, I must say it was worth it. The people I've met and talked to, the fun I've had, the lessons I've learned, all of it will always be a huge part of me. If I am ever granted a chance to be part of something like this again, I swear I will not hesitate. Hi, my name is Andrew York Reed and I go to Astroka Gymnasium. I, um, I was just a part of a conversation with the, some of the spoken to the Fumerever. They are the students that come here from other countries. Uh, 
they are and they don't speak very very good Swedish. So we had a discussion with them where we got to bond and uh, know a few things about each other, and it was a it was a ple pleasant experience, and I would recommend it to others. It probably should get bigger in order to create a better bond for people that come to Sweden. Uh, do you think that you learned anything from today? From the project? Absolutely, absolutely. I learned that there is a there is a lot of prejudice amongst the people, and uh, that really goes away when you start talking to people. So it's uh, important to communicate. Will you continue to see them later on and uh, talk to them? I'll say hello in the, in the, in the corridors. All right. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Edris. I'm from, uh, I come from Afghanistan, and uh, I'm glad to I'm uh, in this uh, project. Uh, how long time have you lived in Sweden? Uh, that beca become two years. Two years. Uh, what do you think about this uh, project? I think it, uh, it's very good for us. Uh, we can have uh, contact with, uh, with uh, Swedish students, uh, and uh, I think it can uh, help us very much uh, to learn Swedish more, and uh, uh, our, uh, we can uh, learn about society more. Swedish society. Uh, this project is founded by European Union. What do you think about that? That is founded by the Euro by European Union. Uh, I think uh, it's good too uh, uh, because uh, uh, we can uh, learn more about cultures, cultures uh, in. Uh, 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 different countries, different countries. Uh, from, and uh, I, I'm, I'm very glad and uh, enjoy it. Thank you. I like. It. Hello. I would like to talk about what I benefit from benefited from the Erasmus Plus project. I would start off by meeting my exchange partner, which is Bartek. He's from Poland and he's an example of immigrant in Sweden. Uh, he and his mom proved me that living in Sweden as a migrant isn't as bright as some people may think. They only had two years to learn the language and study the basics of uh, Swedish social system and involve them in the system. Also, I met a lot of people from Arabic or Kurdish countries which are migrants in Sweden too. For example, my friend, uh, his exchange student was Kurd and his family was her very hardworking and grinding. Uh, they all had to work, they were like seven in a little flat. Also, I did get knowledge about what the migrants actually do in their countries besides working. For example, in the little city we were in, the migrants had a little migrant club where they met once or twice a week and they were doing stuff like playing games, playing theater, singing and stuff like that, or maybe just, just having coffee, talking and chilling. So I think these are the advantages and the most crucial things I benefited from this project. Uh, overall, it was very good for me. I got I got to know a lot of things, and that's it, I guess. What have I learned about migration? I learned that there's much more about this. This story doesn't end by coming or moving to another country by finding new by finding a new job and starting new life. It's not that easy, uh, and that's what this project is all about. Uh, and yeah, it's called social inclusion. I have experienced a crazy trip to Sweden, meeting new people, and some of them I can call my friends. And I guess that's the point. Getting new friends from another countries, from another ethnic groups, and finding out that we are almost same. My point of view towards migration hasn't changed a lot. I just realized it's worse than I expected. But there are lots of organizations dealing with this problem and the biggest enemy in Czechia is ignorance and lack of information. Now, after I have, uh, now, after I have participated in this project, I, re I realized uh, that if we need to change someone's mind about this, we need to do more projects, projects like this. I have never been interested in any of these topics before. I didn't even imagine how bad and difficult their lives could be. Poverty, wars. Before working on this project, when I saw the news on TV uh, talking about people trying to get to our country, I couldn't understand why they were risking their lives and their children's. 
but now that I know more about this, about how they feel and how afraid they are uh, and the help they need from us uh, to help them to continue with their lives. Okay, uh, uh, continue from now that I know more. Uh, now that I know more about. Now, now I know more about. I don't know. From there, from there. Okay, now I know. Well, Looking here. Now I know more about the, the conditions they are living, about how afraid they are, and the help they need from us to help them to continue with their life. Erasmus project covers serious issues. It's not just another topic to deal with. This is about putting yourself in the other shoes. It's about changing your way of thinking. It's about acting now. Do you want to help? Make a difference and together we will achieve something bigger.